I want to address a, a few of the things, go back to history just a little bit because I think there's a little bit of uh, a few facts that were left out. Uh, I opposed a lot of the spending that happened under, under President Bush. I opposed whether it was the prescription drug bill or the farm bill or some of the other, you know, spending, but we do have to go back and, and look at exactly what happened. Uh, by the way, it was Republican Congresses with Bill Clinton, okay, that got us to re to balance budgets and to surpluses because we held the line on spending as the economy grew. In 2001, we had a devastating, we, we were questionable on our economy a little bit at that point, but then we had 9-11. 9-11 took a trillion dollars out of our economy. We have to understand that in the context of where the surplus went. That's where the surplus, and then we had, we had wars. And, and, uh, and obviously spent a lot of money on wars. Now that doesn't excuse the increase in spending that we had. And I agreed. And I criticized the Bush administration. I criticized the Republican Congresses at the time for doing that. So, but that's the past. Now we're in a situation where we had a devastating impact to our economy last year. We all agree with that. But that's still the past. The question now becomes, as legislators, what are we going to do? We can play the blame game all we want, but what are we going to do now for the future of the United States? Because I believe that the actual future of our country is on the line, and it's not 10 years out anymore that we used to think, well, 10, 20 years from now, we're going to be in budget problems. We're going to be in serious problems. We are looking at this year over a $200 billion interest payment on our national credit card. $200 billion. That's money that can't go to education, to roads, you know, to health care, to anything else we want to do. And by the end of this decade, we're talking almost a trillion dollars in interest payments on the debt. And those numbers don't include an increase in interest rates on our Treasury bill that other countries are going to, or, or if we get downgraded uh, by the rating agencies. If we get downgraded, which we're heading to that, that, that place, we're heading toward a banana republic as far as the rating agencies are concerned. And when that happens, interest rates skyrocket on our T-bills, what other countries are going to charge us. So we have to be looking at this thing as legislators and say, how do we stop this catastrophe, this economic catastrophe that could be upon us? And that's one of the reasons the Debt Commission has serious work to do. But we as legislators have a responsibility. We can't wait now several years. We need to get serious. And a couple of billion dollars here and a couple of billion dollars there isn't going to cut it. Not when you're talking about trillion dollar deficits as far as the eye can see. When you're adding that much debt, it's like a family that says, you know what? Geez, we can't afford the interest payments on our credit card today, but we're going to continue to just spend and spend and spend, add to our family credit card. Eventually we know we're going to end up in bankruptcy. But we're not going to do anything. We're not going to make the, set the priorities. State governments, local governments, across the board, family businesses, families are tightening their belts. The only place that isn't tightening its belt is Washington, D.C. What we're doing is we're printing money. I had a group of, and I'm sure all of us have been visited by these close-up students. It's great to see young people coming here, learning about our government, seeing it up close and personal. You know, and they asked me about, you know, help with schools. And I said, you know, it's love to be able to help the schools, and we're probably going to do that in the supplemental bill. But the problem is, is that we're borrowing from their very future the money that we're going to be sending to the states. We're just printing the money, and we ha somebody has to pay that money back with interest, and those very young people who are standing before me are a great deal of who's going to have to pay it back. They're not going to have the same kind of America because of this debt burden. And I don't care whether you're a family, whether you're a business, whether you're a local government, state government, or the federal government. Too much debt eventually will destroy you. And that's where we are headed. You know, when you look at the Old Testament, there's plenty of scriptures about too much debt and, and what happens to the debtor. We are in that situation today. And we as legislators have to make some serious choices. They're not easy. It's much easier to get reelected if you're giving money away. It is very difficult to actually say we're going to cut spending in areas. But unless this committee, unless this Congress gets serious, not two years from now, three years from now, starting now, 
getting serious about cutting spending, we're not going to do it. So forget the blame game. We can, we can go back and forth about that. The responsibility is really ours for the future of the United States. So I thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think this committee has important work to do, and I hope we can lead the rest of the Congress into making very serious, tough choices.